Hi everyone, this is Pete, and in this video, I want to demonstrate how to create a radial hole on a curved surface, meaning a hole that points directly towards the center point. Uh, I made a couple of videos that showed some more elaborate holes at different angles to a curved surface, but this is pretty straightforward application where I want to take a hole and, oh, come on now, change the degrees, and you can see that it fires directly into the side of the surface and then is pointing towards the center of the circular surface. So pretty straightforward application, but something that's really useful to know. So I'll walk you through the process. We're going to just start up a new part. I'll grab a cylinder <clears throat> and we'll just make a simple two inch cylinder here. Say it's 0.5 and then I'll make it symmetric. Perfect. So to do this, I'm going to use a combination of sketch points and some work geometry. So really the easiest way to do this is to use the, the work geometry and you can do it a couple different ways, but it all starts out and I'll just orient it. So X is pointing to the right with the point. And so the point is going to define where along the surface we want to make this hole. And you can control this a couple different ways. So I could either dimension it traditionally, or what might be even more common is to put a point here on the side. And if I hold down control right click, I could say I want that to be completely horizontal to the center point. And then what I would probably do is I would actually do this. As long as you pick the second point as your pivot point, you can do a three point angle. That probably makes the most sense in this scenario, but um, <clears throat> there's different ways you could dimension it, of course. Now be careful, I wanna show you something because this could be really irritating and I'm gonna just show it once and then I'm gonna fix it. If I finish my sketch and I go to create the hole, it's gonna see these points as center points every time you try to make a hole. So one of the things I would suggest is I'm going to hit cancel here is changing the format of these to just be points. But before I do that, I'm going to add a work point because the work point is going to allow me to control where I want this to go into the part because sketch points are always going to be perpendicular to the plane. So now I could even just turn off the sketch. So I could turn off the sketch or just to show you what the center points do when you have holes. So if I find that center point, turn it off from being the center point format, finish the sketch. Now when I go to launch the hole command, it doesn't automatically pick those because they're not center points. So just highlighting that, I'll leave the sketch on so that I have my degree measure. And then the next step is you need to get an orientation. So you could, depending on what you're trying to do, you could do it an axis through two points, right? There's a point at the center, there's a point here, but I wanna show you an even faster way, which is gonna be the tangent to surface through a point. So I pick my surface, I pick my point, and voila, there is the plane. And then the cool part is when I launch the whole command, I can pick this point, and then I pick my direction. Well, if I choose the plane, it's gonna be automatically normal to that plane. So it's a really fast and easy way to get that orientation. And of course you could configure the hole however you want. And there you go. So by editing this, and then because I'm editing the sketch, I have to update it myself. I can actually have that hole be at different orientations. So it's a relatively straightforward process. But again, this is probably a more common hole type that you'll encounter versus some of the other crazy ones that I had made last week. So hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.